Right folks, I want to have a quick word about our prison system and how completely useless it is. Now that copper, that so-called copper, right, that killed, uh, well raped, killed, burnt her body, during the lockdown when he used his police powers to get the young girl into his car so he could do what he did and then he was found guilty and then put into prison where really he should have just been put in a he should have just been put in a coffin and he should have just been put in a coffin put in a hole and that should have been it uh, he should have just that's it. No mercy. No, no sympathy. No nothing. I just, I just don't understand it. Right. Um, it turns out now, in the news, that he has been able to buy a fucking Xbox. A fucking Xbox. He has been allowed to buy an Xbox for good behaviour. I tell you what now, you couldn't make this fucker up. The fact that we have got a punishment system where somebody can rape, murder, Burn, what the fuck are you doing in there, love? Off the A6. You've been for a shit in the head, in the verge. Fuck's sake. I can't bloody believe it sometimes. And then he gets put in prison for life and he's then able to buy an Xbox for good behaviour. For good behaviour. The reason why he is doing good behaviour is because there is no rather attractive pretty girls, ladies, young females in prison who he can kidnap, rape and murder and set on fire. This is exactly what I was saying about Colin Pitchfork. The reason why he was allowed out because... There was no teenage girls in prison who he could kill. That is, I just honestly, why, who is running our systems? I don't care. I don't fucking care if he is locked up forever and ever and ever, amen. Just lock him up in a cell and you just shove a bit of food through a hole in the door. A fucking Xbox. There are people out in the normal world, there's people out here now, who would like to buy their child an Xbox, but can't afford it. Why? Why? Who, who owns Xbox? Is it Nintendo or fucking whatever? I don't know whoever company it is. So not Sony is because that's a PlayStation. Microsoft. Whoever it is. Whoever owns Xbox. Why are you allowing them to have an Xbox? Well, I suppose somebody just popped down uh, Argos. In fact, in fact, this scum who killed her is probably ordered it from Argos. He's probably been allowed out to go and collect it. And while he's out there, he's popped into fucking Starbucks. Because that is how our stupid, pathetic system works. When are we going to start to get a hold of it and start punishing people? You can't do, you can't do this. It's their human right to have an Xbox. They haven't got any fucking rights. When you kidnap somebody, rape them, murder them, and set them on fire, you haven't got any rights. You
You're not entitled to a say on anything. You're not entitled. You shouldn't even be entitled to ask what you fucking want for your dinner. You give them fish with bones in it. So they fucking choke. I honestly don't understand what how, how we have become. You've just opened your door. Fucking hell. <sighs> fucking lorries, you just opened the door. Fucking car coming. Unbelievable. I just don't understand how we have got to this stage in our lives. In our in this world where we allow a fucking murderer to buy an Xbox. And how the fuck, he's only been in prison a year, how the fuck has he built up enough money to buy an Xbox? I don't even know how much Xboxes are. How much is an Xbox? 300 quid, 400 quid? How the fuck's he doing it? He should be, he should be doing like fucking mailbags and shit like that. And he shouldn't be getting anything. He should be paying his backs, his debt back to society. Any money, any money that that scum earns should be given to the young lady's parents. Or I don't know. Perhaps they, they don't want any. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to make it. I don't know what I'm trying to make it, but I'm trying to make it that these fucking idiots in prison do not get an Xbox. It just fucking amazes me how fucking so soft and pathetic we are. And they actually, do you know what, right? Do you know what I'm going to fucking say now? When I've not YouTube on the head, and I'm not doing it anymore because I fucking can't be arsed, right? I bet in, say, 25, 25 years time, they'll look to let that bastard out. They'll be sitting there on the parole board saying, well, we can't see that he's a problem to the public now. Uh, we can't see that he'd do anything wrong. Um, he's not capable of getting an erection in his little fucking cock. Uh, so we may as well just let him out to walk amongst all you people out there, you law-abiding citizens. Uh, yeah, we'll just let him out. But but we'll keep an eye on him. We'll keep an eye on him just in case. And that's how it'll fucking be. 25, 30 years, the fucker will be back out on the streets unless somebody can get to him in prison and fucking do him. Now, I'm not saying anybody in prison should get to him and do him. I am not advocating that at all. But, can we just stop being so soft and start punishing people? Can we punish people, please, for the crimes that they commit? Instead of giving them a chance after chance. He was a fucking policeman for fuck's sake. He was a fucking policeman. How is it? He, and the reason why he's being good is because he didn't come out of his fucking cell. Right, I'm done. Laters.